Hey CrossFit, Nord East and Linden Hills. I'm gonna be going over the workout for April 9th. Uh, for the strength portion, we're gonna be doing a repeat of what we did on April 2nd. So if you wanna to look to see what weight you did for that day, you can either uh, try to maintain that weight moving or go up in weight if we have that available to you. It's gonna be four rounds, eight to 10 tempo shoulder press on each side. What we're gonna do is grab that weight, get it up to our shoulders. You can either swing that up, clean that up, whatever you need to do to get that to your shoulder. We're gonna drive with our legs to meet at the top. Nice reset, everything below my shoulder is nice and squeezed, nice and cement. We're gonna bring it down, keeping that elbow breaking in front of the body for three, bringing that weight down to the shoulder. Hold for two, everything is still nice and squeezed, nice and cement underneath my shoulder. You can push press this weight up because the strength we are building is that lowering. We're pushing that back up. Nice reset, get everything nice and tight. Three, two, one. Connect with that shoulder. One, two, up. Hold for that reset of one. Three, two, one, one, two, up. And repeating that eight to 10 times on one side moving to the other shoulder eight to ten times for four rounds. It gets spicy real quick. Then we're moving into a 20 minute AMRAP, 10 kettlebell push press, similar to how we got that weight up overhead. Um, I don't have a kettlebell, I'm gonna use a dumbbell. 53 and 35 is the prescribed weight, but use what you have available to you. We're using that drive from our legs, keeping those heels grounded, moving that weight up above coming back down to a full contact with that body so that the movement of our legs is what's driving that uh, weight up above. Then we're moving into 10 Russian kettlebell swings. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. Hold it nice and securely. Moving through, bending at the hips, using that snapping motion in the hips to drive that weight up to eye level. Then this last movement is 10 box jumps. 20 inches and 24 standard height if you have a box available to you. If not, you can use a surface that's nice and stable with step ups, using that leg drive from that leg that's moving to move your body up in a nice controlled way. If you have stairs, another great box jump option. Just watch out for edges because we now we have three edges here as opposed to one on that box. I can use that bottom step, full foot on the ground, full extension. Step down. If that you're feeling good about that and you want to move to that second step, full foot on the stair stand and walk back down. Whatever you feel comfortable with, it's still a plyometric movement if the, the height is lower. Have a great workout, guys.